So this is going to be a new shoe review and uh, my video may look choppy because I'm using a DSLR plugged into my computer without a capture card and just trying to sync it up with an external microphone so we will see how the quality is for this. Anyways, um, yeah and then I'm going to be having to shave this freaking beard off uh, at the end of this video. So here's a phase skater with a beard. Uh, yeah, so the shoe review is on the America Figgy shoes. Uh, do not know which version this is, but this is Figgy's Pro model from America. And um, let me just say, it takes forever to break these in, and they're extremely thin. I do not know why. It's insane. Uh, but yeah, once they break in, they get a little flexible, and you can get all your flip tricks back and uh, all of that. But uh, surprisingly, the grip on the bottom lasts a while you can kind of see some discoloration a little bit there on the bottom but uh the grip uh it's pretty good i mean i've been skating these since um was it last year i don't know okay anyways i don't remember when i started skating them but it's it's been it's been many months of me skating these because my other shoes like i just got sick of the duct tape and uh on top of the duct tape problem uh, the Nigel shoes just completely ripped a hole in the bottom like you guys can see the review that I put on that, but my foot was sticking out of the bottom of those. But so far, these grip, the grip's been pretty good. Uh, these actually came in the mail last September, maybe last October, and I just kind of walked around in them last fall for uh, casual shoes that I normally like to wear my shoes for a few months to break them in. Uh, and then finally started skating them. And shoestrings will break like crazy on these. Um, I replaced the shoestrings about three times and you can see they're, they're flaring away. Like this, this white stuff is uh, the inside of these shoestrings. Uh, don't bother getting expensive shoestrings because the positioning on these shoes will completely just shred them to pieces. Um, surprisingly, they hold up pretty well because it's, uh, it's that suede that's... Ow, I hit the microphone. I hope that, guys didn't, that didn't bust your eardrums if you guys were wearing headphones. So yeah, it's it's fully intact all the way around. You don't really have the toe cap or any of that. So it surprisingly lasts pretty long on the sides. You can kind of see this wear and tear coming through over here on this little hole. But check this out. I have my finger in there and there's a second surprise layer. So normally most shoes, your sock would be sticking out, but that hasn't happened. Probably will happen in a few weeks until I get new shoes, which is why I'm doing this review. Um, you can obviously see some, some tear right here. Uh, the tear is, there's, there's several layers, so, you know, I mean, it kind of looks ugly, but again, your foot is still safe. Uh, the inside and the insole, Ew, this is baked in here. Okay, I apparently cannot take the insole out. I am trying to rip it, but it is, it's either really stitched in there or it's just baked in from sweat and long term use. But the shoes, they're, they're comfortable. They're great for walking around. But for skating, uh, impact support is, it's medium. I mean, you usually see me praise the impact support on other shoes or you'll see me totally rip on shoes for impact support. But these, this is kind of medium. Again, I haven't been skating really big stairs like in some of my older videos. Like I'm not doing any 10 or 12 stairs in these. So I can't fully tell you how high impact is, but for like casual skating and medium stuff, th these are pretty decent for impact. Um, the sides and ankle support, they're pretty thin. So when your board does, come flip around like if you're trying to tray flip something and your truck hits the side of your foot this hurts it hurts so bad like i am telling you like you're gonna get like blisters on your ankles because these are also cut fairly low i mean they're not they're i would say they're probably like low rise they're not mids they're not high um barely any ankle support luckily i've not rolled my ankle uh, doing anything with these uh, because i've been taking it easy because honestly i don't i don't trust these shoes enough to be skating really big stairs or trying super tech stuff like i've been skating these just kind of like casually doing some flat ground some boxes and stuff like that and like little small gaps but i don't honestly trust or feel comfortable trying to uh, do extreme stuff what is nice is the tongue 
uh, is kind of, it doesn't get too loose because it's got like these elastic uh, stretch things. I'm trying to do this one hand because again, I'm holding the microphone. Uh, so the, the tongue kind of stays there, but the worst part is the tongue. Like look, look at this. That, that's the whole tongue all the way through. It's not like thin at the top and then gets thicker. Literally the whole tongue is, is, is thinner than a piece of paper. So uh, there's no tongue support. And that is one of my biggest gripes with this shoe. If you want to do a Casper, yeah, say goodbye to the veins on the top of your feet. You are going to have a busted freaking spider veins and all kinds of injuries doing that. Also, if say you do a flip trick and your foot lands underneath the board, anything that has the board landing on top of your foot, no padding. Uh, even in even in like the rest of the shoe, the top, th thinnest paper. Um, yeah, tongue, whole thing. So top of the foot, no protection at all. I mean, they, they're pretty breathable. I mean, your foot's not going to get like mega, mega sweaty. Um, so, I mean, if you're, if you're into cruising and you just like doing bowls and transition and you're just cruising around, then yeah, these, these shoes are pretty good for that. But like, if you're, if you're going to be doing like more technical stuff, no. Uh, another thing is their, their flexibility. You would think with them being thin, even after breaking them in, like they'd be really flexible. They're still kind of stiff. I'm just... I'm not digging them. Um, yeah, like it's they're I don't know they're they're not worth I wouldn't call them pro model shoes. Like yes, these if these were branded as like your normal like forty to fifty dollar just generic America shoes that you could probably get at like Journeys or online or something, then yeah, they'd be good. But but to pay a high price and have it as a pro model shoe, I would not do. Um, Luckily, I got them on sale for probably like forty to fifty dollars off Amazon because I guess they were clearing out stock. But they, uh, long story short, um, if you can find them cheap for like thirty to forty, and you're a casual skater and you're maybe mostly doing transition, and uh, you also want to use them as an all-around shoe to walk around, then yeah, I'd get them. If you're somebody who wants to be doing like triple flips and games of skate or your life, or you want to do some weird, crazy tech stuff and manuals and boxes and grinds like that then no nope, wouldn't get them if you're a skater who is just you know casually you know maybe doing like a few like pop shove it some 180s down like four to six stairs then yeah they're okay if you're somebody who's skating bigger stair sets that come to your chest or higher no don't don't get them so it just depends on what you're looking for but these are these are decent walk around casual shoes that's for sure. But for skating, it just depends. Like if you're a skater who doesn't need like protection and crazy board feel and flexibility, because they don't really have that much board feel either. So um, if you don't care too much about your skating and you're just trying to chill at the skate park and skate transition and you're wearing them all around town just to walk around and hang out, then yeah, uh, I'd get them. But other than that, no. So I guess my rating for these shoes out of 10 uh, between a four and a six, like, again, it just depends on, uh, your purpose, but I feel like you can get better shoes for your type of skating for the same price range. So that's my review on the Americas. And all I can say is I will never get this pair again, uh, the pro model personally, unless they're like 15 or 20 bucks and it's some crazy clear out. So yeah, uh, subscribe and I will have some skate videos coming up soon. I've been working on filming around the park, uh, here in Portland, and there's some crazy Nike, Nike skaters because the Nike headquarters is only a few miles from where I live. So there's some sick skaters, so get ready for some of those videos.